In the previous video, I talked about how you can show or hide uh, the set of uh, standard columns that are available in Cosplanner. But in addition to that, you can add an unlimited amount of additional custom columns to your Cosplan view. You do that by using tags, and in this video, I will explain how you can create new tags uh, and how you can manage the collection of existing tags in your project. In this video, I will explain how you can use the Tag Editor in Vico Office. With the Tag Editor, you can define new custom properties for assemblies and components. I will use the Column Chooser to activate the column for the new tag, and then I will assign predefined tag values to some components. In Vico Office, I choose the Edit Tags workflow item from the Cost Planner workflow panel with the project open and that opens the tag editor and uh, with that tag editor open uh, you will see that there is an existing tag category which is called system and that has some of the uh, the built-in tag values uh, so over here you see the status tag uh, that we saw earlier in the cost planner view when we assigned a classification uh, to the components to classify the quantity input uh, what I will do now is uh, create a new category and I will call that uh, classifications and a new tag that I will call CSI divisions and that creates a new empty tag in my project to make sure that I can assign it to components, I click on this icon here to open the uh, the tags properties, and I make sure that I apply it to components, and then click OK. After doing that, the tag will become available as a column in my cost planner view. Now I can predefine values with uh, the uh, the tag selected, and let's do that for a few. So let's say a one general requirements and then I want to add another one O2 site conditions and O3 concrete and I can choose from these values in the cost planner view so let's see what that looks like in the plan cost view so I'm opening the plan cost view and in the plan cost view I now have an extra column over here that's called CSI master format divisions uh, of course I can grab that column and move it to another location if I like to and let's go into a lower level uh, cost item and assign uh, a division that we uh, that we defined so uh, layout concrete I want to assign division 3 and that's how it works. You just select it from a list, um, or alternatively, you start typing, and uh, the uh, pop up dialog provides the options that match the characters that you typed in. Now, if there is uh, a, a value that doesn't exist in the project yet that you would like to add, you can define tag values on the fly as well. Uh, so let's look for uh, an item. Uh, that has a different division so this is division number seven um, we can type in the value uh, 07 uh, thermal and moisture protection and as soon as I press the enter button it is added as a tag value in the tag editor now these tag values that you have assigned to your components uh, become visible in the report editor as well and in the next video, video I will explain how you can use these tag values to create categorized cost reports. During this video, I showed how new tags, properties of components, can be created in the tag editor. I then opened the plan cost workflow item to show the new column that was introduced to the cost plan view with the tag name. You can also use the column chooser to show or hide tag columns. 
Lastly, I assigned some predefined tag values and I also created a new tag value on the fly.